Welcome back. Answers to the two questions you're probably asking yourself right now. Yes, I did get a haircut since the last lesson. Thank you very much for noticing. And yes, we can run this flow automatically when a row is added to Google Sheet, when a new attendee is added to our conference. In Gumloop, those are called triggers. Whenever you want a flow to run when something happens in another application, not when you click run, that would be adding a trigger. You can see all of the options as triggers by going into the node library, clicking triggers, and you have many to pick from. You can pick from things like when a Google Drive folder is updated, when a Google Sheet has a new row, an email is labeled in a certain way, a message, a sentence, Slack, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and update our flow to run whenever a row is added to Google Sheets. To do that, we simply have to turn on the toggle in the top right. Anytime you have a node that can be used as a trigger, it'll have this toggle at the top. And there we go. We've now activated this flow to be run whenever a row is created. Now, quick note, the output of Google Sheets used to be a list, right? It used to be every attendee in our conference, in our Google Sheet. However, now it is text. We have one email, one name, and one company. So if you go over to our subflow, the one that drafts the email, we need to go ahead and turn off loop mode because now we are not looping. We are acting on one single piece of text, the email. And final update here in our subflow, in the draft email, we should turn save as draft to no. So it actually sends the email automatically. And now we've automated our workflow. And yes, this whole lesson was simply turning on a switch. And yes, I get paid by the minute. So I appreciate you watching all of this. In the next lesson, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the concept of filtering and smushing, which are two important concepts when working with lists to get them into Ask AI nodes and to work with large data sets. In our case, we're going to update so that talks come from Google Sheets instead of being copy pasted. And that's going to be useful. I promise. I'll see you there.